We've got questions. We've got answers. We have the man to answer them. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. It is great to be back with you, Bob. Great to have you. Uh, My inbox is full of questions, one of which goes like this. I have a solo 401k and I'm age 72. Can I delay taking my RMD? Great question. Unfortunately here, the answer is going to be no. So let's start at a high level and just say that beginning in the year that you turn 72, most people need to to begin taking RMDs. If we're talking about an IRA, including an IRA-based employer plan like a SEP IRA or a simple IRA, RMDs have to begin to be taken for the year that someone turns 72. If someone has an employer-based plan that is not IRA-based, such as a 401k, a 403b, a 457 plan, uh, a a thrift savings plan, et cetera, someone is still working, then they can delay taking RMDs until the year that they retire if uh, if they meet a number of provisions. And one of those provisions is you cannot be a 5% owner of a company. And obviously, if we're talking about someone who has a solo 401k, well, they're the only person, which means they are the only owner of that company, right? It's just them. So they own 100% of that company. Last I checked, Bob, 100% is more than five. Therefore, they need to take that required minimum distribution. Right. So just a quick follow-up. If they don't take the RMD, there's a penalty to be paid? Absolutely. A 50% penalty. Now you can wait until up until April 1st of the year after you turn 72 to take the RMD for that first year in which you turn 72. So for argument's sake, we're in 2022 now. If someone turns 72 this year, they could wait until as late as April 1st of 2023 to take their first RMD for 2022. But if they do that, They will also have to take another RMD next year in 2023 for 2023, which means doubling up on that income that could push you into a higher bracket, phase you out of certain deductions, increase Medicare, Part B and D premiums, et cetera. So oftentimes it's best to take your age 72 RMD in the year you turn 72 and your age 73 RMD in the year you turn 73. Yeah. So I think you answered that reader's question and my follow up. So much obliged. Thanks, Bob. That was a great question. And we look forward to hearing your question. So if you've got one you'd like Bob and I to tackle, email us here at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I look forward to tackling your question real soon.